good morning, Miss Petrowitz, or perhaps good afternoon, or even good evening, depending, of course, on when you are watching this video. Uh, so, before I begin, I would just like to say to anyone else that happens to stumble upon this video on YouTube, this is a persuasive appeal speech for my speech class. Uh, so feel free to watch and enjoy, maybe even learn a thing or two, or don't. Your choice. I'm not picky. Uh, and then just one more thing. I do want to say I apologize if any sort of mispronunciation of uh, website names or any information I came across uh, is mispronounced. Uh, you know, pronounce it as best I can as the best to my knowledge allows me to comprehend its pronunciation. I'm not sure if it's properly pronounced that way. So I just want to say, you know, that to start off with. Uh, and now that we got uh, all the introduction stuff out of the way, I think it's time to start. Uh, so the title is, Should You Listen to Music Every Day? Everyone listens to music, but how often might you do so? Perhaps you listen to music once a day, or even once a month. Would you believe researchers have figured out that a certain amount of time listening to music is healthy for the mind? For those that don't know, I'm a music major at Quinsigamond Community College, and music is a big part of my life. According to three websites, 78 minutes of listening to music makes for a healthy mind, music keeps your brain young, and there are amazing benefits to listening to music. According to Corain.com, a new study commissioned by music streaming service Deezer has found that we should all be listening to at least 78 minutes of music per day as part of maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Also, according to Corain.com, the study looks at the listening habits of 7,500 people alongside how music affects their physical and mental well-being. And just like we're told to eat at least five portions of fruit and vegetables per day, the Deezer research has concluded we need to listen to at least 78 minutes of music across five different modes. I mean moods, my bad. Uplifting, relaxing, sad, motivating, and anger management. Music affects our moods, whether we realize it or not. And for that, our brains need music to stay healthy and young. The start of the article by HopkinsMedicine.org starts with a very good analogy-based comparison that states, if you want to firm up your body, head to the gym. If you want to exercise your brain, listen to music. According to the article, if you want to keep your brain engaged throughout the aging process, listening to or playing music is a great tool. It provides a total brain workout. Research has shown that listening to music can reduce anxiety, blood pressure, and pain, as well as improve sleep quality, mood, mental alertness, and memory. Another quote from this article states, Music is structural, mathematical, and architectural. It's based on relationships between one note and the next. You may not be aware of it, but your brain has to do a lot of computing to make sense of it. As the quote expresses, music is mathematical. And as a musician, I understand that there is a connection between math and music. And through this connection, some people that are good at one can find themselves good at the other. Perhaps this could be seen as a benefit for music. The start of an article by lifehack.org starts with three great quotes, such as Charles Darwin once remarked, if I had my life to live over again, I would have made a rule to read some poetry and listen to some music at least once every week. Albert Einstein declared, if I were not a physicist, I would probably be a musician. Jimi Hendrix called, his mu called music his religion. According to this article, Recent research shows that listening to music improves our mental well-being and boosts our physical health in surprising and astonishing ways. If we take a music lesson or two, that musical training can help raise our IQs and even keep us sharp in old age. 
And it then goes into 15 amazing scientifically proven benefits of being hooked on music. It also mentions another quote in between the amazing benefits said by rock icon Billy Joel. I think music in itself is healing. It's an explosive expression of humanity. It's something we are all touched by, no matter what culture we're from. With just 78 minutes a day, our brains stay healthy, young, and receive amazing benefits. Music is a great source of enjoyment, but it can't be denied that you just feel better after listening to or perhaps even playing music. Let me ask you this. If you're stressed out, what is one of the most likely ways you may try to calm yourself down? Might it be music that helps you, or at the least one of the possible methods you may take to calm yourself down? I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to listen to my speech, and I hope you all try to listen to music more often, especially when stressed out, and once again, thank you.